Hey, YTP, CJ your good friend, Dispipe, coming at you from South Carolina. It is a nice, fine day out here. It's cool out here. The sun's right there. This side of my fa face is nice and cool. This side of my face is burning. If I'm squinting, I'm sorry. It's the best place I can put the camera in order for you not to have sun in your face. You can see my lovely face. It's shadowed right now, so you should be be good. First off, they're building a house down there. You might... No, you can't see the trees. They're building a house over there, so it's... It wasn't that bad, of course, until I started put my camera up and put everything together it was okay knocking banging now they decided to bring the tractor out and you will hear everything anyway today i'm going to be i'm going to be doing a first impression video haven't done one in a while i have a bunch of unopened tins that i want to get to pretty bad and try them out but for me personally i don't want to do without doing a first impression video if not for you, but just for myself, so I can go back and see what I said, how I liked it, and how it matures over time, and how it the taste changes over time. So this is kind of like my, this is kind of like me, my personal uh, uh, log or uh, tasting notes on this thing. Because I'm too lazy to write. So, but of course, y'all feel free to watch, enjoy, comment, anything like that. So. Housekeeping, I'm going to be smoking out this tobacco out of the Morgan Bones. It is a awesome pipe. I have not, I haven't had smoked this in a while. I don't know why. Um, I'll tell you, actually, I know why. I'll tell you in a second. Um, and I am enjoying me some blackened whiskey. Mm. It is, this is Metallica's whiskey. And it was distilled by I can't think of the guy's name, but still by the dude who's the ma who's the master distiller over at Whistlepig. Um, it's a blend, like I said, it's blended whiskey, and it's finished off in brandy barrels. It's good, not great. Uh, it's very young and needs some age, but of course, me, I'm impatient. I really wanted to try it, so I'm drinking it. It, it's good. It's really good. It's very, very sweet. And I don't know what brandy tastes like. I never had brandy in my life, I don't think so. So, maybe that's what the sweetness is coming from. Good enough. Anyway, my tobacco today, from my first impression, is going to be Seattle. Seattle. Did I say Seattle. Um, sound Scottish there for a second. And I apologize for all my Scottish listeners and watchers if I have any. Seattle Pipe Club Hood Canal. Blended by our good friend Joe Langford. If you know Joe Langford, you know Plum, you know Seattle Pipe Club, you know Plum Pudding, which is kind of like the mainstay, probably one of the most popular English blends out there right now, at least within the circle I I follow. Um this is fairly new. Uh, don't quote me on the release date. I think it was August or April. Is that A in there? It's April or August of 2018. And I got this in November of 2018. Pro I think from SmokingPipes.com. I think. But anyway, the Seattle Pipe Club Hood Canal is an abundant Balkan mixture of Latakia, Turkish Orientals, Luxury Burleys, and Perique. Little re, did a little research. There is Virginia in here. Just didn't put it on here. And to compare to Plum Pudding, only thing different from this is it has no Cavendish and Burleys added. So basically, it's a Burley Plum Pudding, which I'm excited about. I love Burleys. I'm not a huge fan of English. That's why it's my English smoking pipe. That's why I haven't smoked this thing in a while. You know, over time, when I started smoking, English has started to disagree with me. There are a few that I do enjoy. Plum pudding, for one. Magnum Opus, for one. They, I like those. They're good. It's not everyday smoke for me. It's a once in a while thing. And today I'm feeling very English, so I want to give this thing a shot. And plus, I got again, I got tens I got to open, and I want to start with this one right here. So. That's about it. Let's open this thing up. The best thing I love about I love I love cans. I think I love cans more than like tins. I mean tins got a little better art. Shut up over there. But a little easier. And I think these these can stay a little 
fresher longer if you don't put them in a mason jar because you got the, the seal longer not forever longer than out of a tin so let's do the pop all right nothing all right whoo yeah way down here tin note First off, sorry, sorry. I haven't done this in a while again. It's a, it's a crumble, a, it looks like a broken crumble cake. There you go. Not bad looking, trying to find some good lighting there. That's not bad looking at all. Good coloration. Nice marbling, I guess. That's a good way to put it. But let's go brush schnoz in there and see how this bad boy smells. All right, first off, of course, Latakia Oriental off the bat. But it's mellow. It's a mellow smell. It's not like attacking my my uh, my, my nostril and my nasal cavity. And, you know, hey, I'm English. I smell it. It's there, but it's not like burning and overwhelming it, which is awesome. That could be the Virginias in there. Yeah, definitely got that, that, gra that grassy, that hay, the Virginia grass. Virginia grass. That's, I will start calling that now, Virginia grass. All right. All right, since I opened it, the Latakia and Oriental has has subsided. I'm not getting that incense smell like I usually get with uh, Orientals. It's, it's still there, but subsiding substantially. Wow. That uh, Virginia is starting to come out a whole lot more. All right, don't smell anything. So now, like you, like I like to do, is I like to take a piece, especially with a flake or a, a cake like this, crumble it up a little bit. I got my awesome, my awesome uh, tobacco tray, sound wisdom experience. I like to break it up. Smell it and smell it again, see if it changes anything. I said, I'm, I'm kind of amazed by how the smell, how the tin note, dimin uh, the, the Latakia Oriental diminished as much as it did once it got opened, and now I'm smelling more Virginias, which is awesome. All the Virginias. All right, it's very crumbly. It's not not dry, but once I, crum once I crumbled it out, very, very loose. Very coarse cut. Awesome. Up the nose, up the nose. Yeah, I don't think I got enough. Try this again. All right, only thing I, only thing I smelled there was hand. All right. Okay, don't get the perique. A little more perique. Is there perique in this thing? Did I say perique? Yeah, perique. All right. That Latakia is in the background. That Latakia Oriental is, is there, but it's not overwhelming. Very, like a, again, I'm, I'm sticking with very mellow English right now. I might actually enjoy this. All right. All right, so a 10 note, again, right off the bat, Latakia Oriental Balm. But once I let it air out for a guy less than 10 seconds, it started subsiding sub substantially. Virginia started coming out, broke up a little bit, and now I got more Perique in there. Uh, I can't smell the Burleys right now. So, uh, see what happens there. Might, might be a more taste than anything. Shut up. They're being loud, so. Time for the awesome part. Light that bad boy up. Oh man, actually I'm gonna drop me a nice big cube down in here. Pack it up, pack it in, let me begin. Got some cubes in there. This is probably a completely wrong way to do it, but screw it, it's my channel, I can do what I want to. 
get a couple broken pieces, put it on top. All right. And now we're off to the races. So, side note as I started getting some tasting in here, a little story. My younger boy likes to run outside, take his shoes off, and throw them anywhere in the yard. We got four dogs, five dogs. Four dogs, five dogs. We got a lot of dogs. We found one shoe chewed up in the sole of another shoe. We can't find that shoe. So, that was last night. This morning, I went and took care of some things and Went and took my car in for a service. Found out I didn't need one. Awesome. Run a couple errands and I came back home and I saw the most odd shaped piece of dog droppings I've seen in my life. The dog dumped past the sole of a shoe. The damn dog ate the whole freaking shoe. The whole damn shoe. Stupid. Anybody want a dog? Hmm. Alright. This is actually... I'm actually enjoying the hell out of this. For a person that's not a big English fan, because I could taste the Latin key and Orientals. They're definitely there. But. Not really tasting Burleys that much. However, it's spicy. Like a good spicy Spicy burly would be a big nutty nutty burly would be spicy with a perique. Virginias are not really getting too much hay or grass or citrus. But it's burning cool. Very cool. That's probably what Virginia's doing. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, Virginia's usually run hotter, but I don't, I don't freaking know. I'm stupid. I'm, I'm new with this thing. <sighs> However, I'm getting a real good mouth feel, a good, bit, good big plume of smoke feel. I'm not, I'm not seeing it on the camera right now. That's what I'm feeling right now, like a good burlet, like a... Oh. Uh. Sorry, I heard something knocking on my window. No one's supposed to be home right now. But... Freak's definitely there on the retro hail.
Hold on. Right, so no one was knocking at my window. It was a cat. Playing with something. Alright. So I don't know if you can see it because of the sun. I'm getting some pretty good plumes of smoke from that burly. It's, it's, the spice is coming back out. They actually burn a little hot. There's Virginia's. But this kind of English blend I like, or any kind of blend. I like blends that have like a lot of stuff going on, like you know, 45 ingredients. I love that kind of stuff. That's why I like Bayou Morning so much. It's got like 40. It's got a lot of stuff in there going on. Haunted Bookshop's got a lot of stuff going on. Um, Bayou Night. I love that stuff. I know I just named like four. Uh, I just knew uh, four of those are Cornell and Deal, but that's my go-to. That's my go-to company. But I smoke anything. But I like this a lot. Like for a person who doesn't like English very much, I can see me smoking this a lot, a lot more. But as you see, as you heard during my, during my hangover video, it's starting to dry my mouth out a little bit. English does that to me. I don't know if everybody thinks English and Oriental is kind of dry my mouth out. So, I should be drinking water. I'm drinking whiskey instead. And I got to run later on. It's only a mile. I'll be all right. But anyway. All right, as I get a little further down, that key is starting to pop back up. The oriental is starting to pop back up. Get a little more spice here on the periques. And that smoke's getting a whole lot more voluminous. So, everybody's playing their part. Everybody's playing their part. Oh, there's that perique. I like this. All right, so here we go. If I remember right, 10 note, again, strong off the bat, a lot of key rentals, and it starts to side. It got more of that Virginia, got more of that, that's that uh, grassy, that hay Virginia, that Virginia grass smell. Um, didn't smell too much Perique. Broke it up a little bit. It subsided a little more, I think it was. And they're smelling any kind of burly at all. Light it up. Again, it tastes like it tastes is very similar to plum pudding. Yeah, English Latin, uh, English Oriental taste, but I think it's getting more voluminous smoke, more thicker smoke, and that perique is amazing. I can't taste it very well, but I can feel the spiciness of it. So I suggest this: if you're not a big English smoker, if you're if you're an English smoker, get this stuff. You're going to enjoy the crap out of it as a daily smoker. If you're not an English lover, but you get this and try it at least once, get you a tin, smoke it every now and then, like I am right now. This this tin right here probably lasts me six, seven months. That's how that's how little I want to smoke of it. But that's not because it's bad. It's just I'm not an English smoker. But now let's go see what tobacco reviews have to say about it. Like I said, brand spanking new. So there's not too many out there. I got a new teleprompter. It's the wife's iPad. All right. Seattle Pipe Club Hook Canal. Abundant Balkan mixture of Latakia, Turkish Orientals, Luxury Burleys, and Perique. Notes Virginia is not listed on a tin, but some is blended in with the Tennessee Burley. Brands, Seattle Pipe Club, blended by Joe Langford, manufactured by Sutliff Tobacco. They're doing some amazing things lately. Blend type, American. American. I guess Balkans American? I don't freaking know. 
Constance, Burley, Latakia, Orinals, Turkish, Perique, Virginia, flavoring none, cut crumble cake, packaging two ounce and eight ounce, county or country U.S. production currently available. There's only two reviews. 3.5. One gave it a four star, one gave it a three star. All right. One review said the blended Turkish Orientals are woody, earthy, mildly floral, somewhat dry with some buttery sweetness and a couple pinches of spice in an important role. Okay, buttery, I, I don't get butter. I, 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 Maybe that's a voluminous smoke. Maybe that's what the feel is, but I'm not tasting butter. Floral, that's gonna be for me the incense of the of the of the Orientals. Nice past the center of mild to medium. Yeah, I, I agree with mild. I agree, I agree more for medium, but mild to medium. It's definitely not strong at all. The room note is not very pungent, can be an all-day smoke for a veteran, and certainly repeatable for those less experienced. Like, yeah. I swear to God, I didn't read this thing beforehand. But this is reviewed by Jim Inks. And then Rusted Nails. Smoky and Spicy Crumble Cake. Blah, 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 blah. Didn't get much flavor from the Perique. Strength, a little less than medium. Okay. Nice strength of nicotine. Yeah. Wife, not a fan of room room note. There you go. So, my wife won't like it. She don't like any tobacco. But yeah. I really like this. And it'll start getting colder. I might start bringing some more Englishes out. But yeah, I do like this. So... Is by approved. All right. I'm going to finish this up. Go watch some Kirby, Kirby Enthusiasm on the teleprompter and probably go for a run. Anyway, got some new subs. Frosty, Frosty Piper, eight hours ago. Smoking Uncle Frank, a couple, uh, a couple days ago, I think it was. Um, no galls going on that I know of. Nothing big news going on. Gall season's finally over. I didn't win a damn thing. I want I want a, a mug from Briar Blues. So anyway, thank y'all for watching. Y'all have a good one. Super smoky.